Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Rasaji, and this is our Friday's episode of Rasaji Speaks. Today's title is After the Resurrection, Jesus' Teachings for 40 Day and After His Ascension. Well, according to the Lama Siri in Tibet, those were the peak of Jesus's teaching. It was the cream of the crop. More importantly, Jesus had actually become his own teachings. He became the personification of what it meant to merge a spirit, mind, and body, or the true chanda, together and manifest that. Think about it. Guy could still eat fish, could drink water, drink wine, eat pita bread, but the same individual could go days, literally months, without eating anything. Looked like he was eating and drinking to keep up appearances, but he could go through a door by opening it or by vibrating through it. You know, basic physics says if I throw a banana through a wall with a high enough velocity of speed, it would pretty much disintegrate and go on the other side. But it would probably mush with, if that was to happen. Human vessel has something called the Holy Spirit in us. And the Holy Spirit has a quality of binding, of fusion, of wielding together the eight different systems of the body. Every one of the systems of the body as we go through the second birth or being born of the fire can go on. After the crucifixion, after the stone rolled away, and after the 40 days, Jesus ascends into the heavens. <clears throat> Basically, he goes up into the sky according to to his followers. But then where does he go? Well, immediately he goes back to the Essenes. He picked out half a dozen to a dozen scenes that he now wanted to teach from the golden body to impart such a level of Shakti pot to them. A few years later, he's recorded to be seen again with Melchizedek in Nepal. And he's recorded to make a visit and literally teach in the Lama Seri several years after that. And according to people in India, he's put to death a second time. Somewhere around about 115 to 120 years, there's actually Indians today that claim that his grave is actually in India. It's very fascinating. I'm going to visit there one of these days before too long, where he was supposed to have lived 115 to 120. And then the question is, did that tomb roll away too? You're going to have to pay attention to Lama Ji's teachings and stick around to find out. God bless you, Baraka Bashai. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend with your family. Give them big hugs. You never know when they're not going to be here. Don't think it's just a given. Don't ever make that mistake. You'll be sorry that you did. God bless you all. See you bright and early Monday. Don't be late. And tomorrow on our spiritual message on Saturday's edition of Rasaji Speaks. God bless.